Yo, Yankee fans, what is up yet again? It is Felix from nynews.com. Like always, hola como estas? Yankees fans, let's talk about a player that when you talk about him, it triggers a lot of Yankees fans. Anytime Giancarlo Stanton's name is brought up, you're automatically a hater. Well, it's not me hating. It's me stating facts. Or you could perceive it as facts because everybody has different opinions. So here's my opinion. I think that the Yankees are fumbling having Giancarlo Stanton on their team. They're not taking advantage of the store power that is Giancarlo Stanton. We all saw it the first season. It's like, hmm, we got Giancarlo Stanton, but something doesn't feel right. It's like you have this superstar on your team and he's just there. And yes, fans do have the right to criticize if a player is subpar when they were expecting that player to have another MVP season. And I think Stanton would agree with that. It doesn't mean he had a bad season. It just means that the Yankees fan base, they were expecting more out of him. Just as Boston Red Sox fans were expecting the best out of J.D. Martinez, and he delivered plus more with a World Series championship. So this brings me back to Harper and Machado. I think is an excuse playing the Stanton court yet again to tell your fan base, uh, we're not getting Harper or Machado because we have Stanton. It's just another excuse. We heard excuse after excuse. Arenado, Arenado's about to sign an extension now, so they got to move on to the other name. And this is where the Yankees are making yet another mistake with Stanton. You're going to make the fan base despise Stanton by saying that you couldn't afford Machado or Harper because of Stanton. When the NY Daily News writes an article like that, it's not coming from them. It's somebody in the Yankees front office putting out that narrative. Again, like I stated, when the National League adopts the DH you're going to have cost-controlled players filling in that role, making about 500 k per season, and being productive. They're going to be locked in for a couple of years at that rate, and then you're going to have Stanton on the Yankees making about $32 million per season just to be a DH. Oh, but don't worry about that. Here and there, you'll see Stanton playing the outfield. Really, Stanton is one of the most marketable players In all of sports, I could see him top five if he gets on a tear. But it's not going to happen if he's specifically a DH. DHs really don't have that great of a reputation when it comes to star power. Sure, you could argue Ortiz, Edgar Martinez, etc. But really, do they get respect from the Hall of Fame voters? No. Do they get respect out of the baseball heads that Hey, you're a great player if you're a great defensive player and offensive player? No. Would fans love to pay, let's say, extra all around the country to see Stanton? Because they're going to see him in the outfield and at the plate? See, you're subtracting something big. You're subtracting Stanton's potential when you barely have him play the outfield. And to make things worse... Like I said, the market for DHs, players at that position, it's going to decrease once the National League adopts the DH. And the Yankees are going to look like fools because they're going to have a player that should be playing in all aspects of the game, making all that money when, let's say, that other team has a DH making about 500 k and is producing the same way as, let's say, a Stanton is. See how that doesn't make sense? You make Stanton worth what he's worth. On any team, he would be your starting right fielder. I don't understand why the hell he's your primary DH. He's not disabled. He's not old. Barry Bonds was playing the outfield until he was an old man. So again, if this stupid rumor that I am hearing is true, that the Yankees are going to skip out on Machado and Harper, if that's true, You're sticking with Stanton, and you're going to stick with him as a DH? Makes absolutely zero sense. This tells me that the Yankees front office has absolutely zero idea of what they're doing when it concerns looking into the future. Because the excuses are now, 
Oh, they signed Ellsbury in 2013, 14, whenever that was. Oh, they signed uh, or took Stanton's contract last year. The Yankees did it to themselves. Uh, forget about Bryce Harper and Machado. They can't afford him. Really, for a DH. <laughs> Try explaining that to the fan base. All you're doing is putting unnecessary hate to Stanton because the Yankees fans are going to see that and say, hey, look, we got Stanton. Every time he strikes out, oh, we could have had Machado or Harper. And it's not Stanton's fault. So if they do that, the Yankees picked offense alone and they dismissed defense. This is why I think they're so in love with Andujar, costing the Yankees over 40 runs last year with his defense. This is why they don't care if Luke Voigt beats Greg Bird for that first base gig. And then again, you have Luke Voigt, who's offensively great, and that DH spot is occupied. Makes absolutely no sense. This lineup, I'm telling you guys, injuries are going to fly left and right because that DH spot is so occupied that you have players that need a rest, but you still need to use them. And they're playing the field and they get injured just as Gary Sanchez got injured a trillion times, it seemed, last season. Long story put short, what I'm trying to say here is the Yankees are really dumb. If they don't get Machado or a Harper, that just shows me that they were willing to take on this large contract just to have a player DH. That makes absolutely zero sense. If you, if you really want to keep this player and they should keep him. Because trust me, with this market, he's not going to opt out of his contract. Okay? I don't like John Cole Stanton. If you skip out on two generational talents, make John Cole Stanton worth the money he's making. Let him play the field. He gets injured, he gets injured. At least, I mean, John Cole Stanton would love that. <laughs> you got Brett Gardner over there in left field. Now you have Frazier competing with him. I mean, DH is going to be occupied. I see no hope for this team when it comes to injuries because this team can't hit with runners in scoring position. They strike out a trillion million times. Didi had to carry this team to start 2018. He's not even going to be playing. The Yankees need one more missing piece. I don't want to hear this garbage about, oh, we signed, we took Stanton's contract, and this is why we can't afford players specifically, Machado specifically, because he's a Platinum Glove Award winner. That you couldn't afford him. I don't want to hear that garbage. It's garbage. You're going to make the fan base hate Stanton? You're putting that negative energy towards him because the Yankees fans are going to take out their frustrations of not getting Harper or Machado on him. And he doesn't need that negative attention. He's a marketable player. The Yankees have not marketed him right. Nobody in the Yankees front office opened their mouths when John Carlos Stanton was snubbed for the All-Star team. Nobody over a player that was 39 years of age or 38, whatever the number was, that was ridiculous. You have Stanton for no reason at this point. Make it count is what I'm saying. So, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. It has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you on next time. Before it hits the front page, NY1